Good morning to all my Keurig coffee drinkers and Tumblr users. It's our mic. And before our month comes to a close here, we probably should go on ahead and take a look at our exclusive coffee subscription. And in today's box, we should have our Power Llama. Now, this is one that was released in the past, and I think I missed out, or if I did not miss out on this one, I do have the decal first gen somewhere around here but this is the power llama and this is our coffee of the month for June, march for march yeah we're going into april here soon and here is our artwork on the box our black rifle uh, logoing power llama no pull tab in the front which i like you all know that by now it has been moved to the back side and on our bag here, this delicious coffee packed with the taste, loaded with flavor, and can always go the distance on aroma. So our uh, info readout on the Power Llama is back, and this time his return has marked a new payload of high-scoring coffee sourced from Waga Valley region of Palua near Guena, I believe, and the newly designed... 86.75 power or point power llama has a crisp acidity tropical fruit aroma and notes of cantaloupe citrus and green apple so it is a medium bodied coffee this was one of the micro lots ready to go for the distance and offer an enjoyable tropical escape to all of its sippers so that is our readout on our Power Llama. Um, I do not have our altitude and grow information all that this time around. I believe this was... No, I'm thinking of the next one that it was. But um, for altitude and wash method, I don't have any of that stuff listed. I was a little too late to pull all that up from Black Rifle's website. Um, they have actually already gone ahead and pulled it and gone on to the next coffee, which we will be getting shortly. So... Let's go ahead and crack into this, take a look. Oh yeah, it is a definitely medium, to be a medium roast, not a light. That does have a different smell to it, that is for sure. Mm. But nevertheless, beans, coffee beans always smell good when you first crack into them. So. And this time around, I am going to show going ahead and uh, starting the grinder since I have just recently posted the video about this. Let's get our scale out here. And yes, with this Encore, it has worked well. I have actually had this Encore and using it for over probably about 20 days now. Or now, I can't say, well, yeah, I could say probably about 20 days, maybe a little longer. I have to pull it up when I actually pulled. When it actually arrived from Amazon, but no, I will uh, give you guys an exact date on that here in a bit. So, how long I've been using it now that that video is up and live. So, all right, let's go on ahead and get started on adding our coffee beans here. Do you know what you want to be? 39 or 40? All right, cleared. Now, let's go ahead and okay. so that's our eighty grams worth of coffee. As I said in my previous video, my neighbor, one of my neighbors do use 80 grams of coffee beans for him and his wife as well, so I'm not alone on it. Again, if you guys use a certain amount of coffee beans for your uh, cups of coffee, obviously, like I said, we're filling two 30-ounce tumblers, even though my wife says over half of it is ice, so uh, if she likes her cold. But yeah, let me know what you guys use ounce wise or not ounce gram wise for your coffee so and let's go on ahead turn that off 
angle this back up. And let's fire the sucker up so you all can see and hear how it does. Pull our lid off our hopper. channel and we are ready to pull. Uh, we'll leave it in there for the moment and then go ahead and start the water and we'll come right back. All right so our water has hit a boil point. Our Bodum craft here for doing our pour over coffee is ready. It's warm but I'm gonna do something a little different today so we're going to use our Power Llama here as a test for using our Chemex filters for a Bodum craft today, or a Bodum pullover. And as you all have, if you have used Chemex filters before, you will all know the answer to how well this turns out or not. But Chemex packs all their filters like this, and that is pretty cool. Their filters, let's go ahead and read the back here and check them out. So on the package here, they're folded already. Um, go ahead and put it in place and then fill with your favorite coffee. For all product lines, detailed uh, product instructions and brew tips, visit at chemixcoffeemaker.com. On the other side here, we have uh, the perfect coffee starts with the perfect filter. Cone shape ensures uniform extraction for pure coffee flavor. Thicker, 20 to 30% more than the competition. Uh, fiber filter design keeps bitter elements, oils, and grounds in place and out of your cup. Pre-folded for convenience. Oxygen cleansing is a bleach-free process, ensuring no chemical residue or taste is impaired to the, to the filter. It's all Chemex coffee makers, except the C1 model, or the CH, C, yeah, CM1. So, since 1941, Chemex bonded filters have been doing what no other coffee filter can do, ensuring the purest, sorry about that, ensuring the purest, most flavorful cup of coffee each and every time. Scientifically designed using the finest raw materials, our thick cone shape filters extract all the bitterness and sediments during the brewing process. Chemex bond of filters can be used with all brewers, allowing coffee lovers around the world to brew coffee the way they want. In the middle, in mild to bold. Instant on its name, insists on its name, there's no other substitute for perfection. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. So we will pull just one of these, because that is all we need. One filter here, and they're already, like I said, they're already folded, which is nice. As for, let's see about unfolding it. Should be only one layer of this we need. So in a way, when you have it folded like this, I need like, how would you do that? All right, so I have it figured out, and hopefully this will work right, but you basically take your fold, since it's already folded, and you're only using one section of it for your coffee. Which means your other area here is kind of getting double filtration, as you can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on ahead and pre-wet this. Give me one second. All right, so our filter is pre-wet, and hopefully this will hold. We're going to find out how well our uh, power llama does here. So we're going to drain our water. Filter is 
ready. And like it says, it's supposed to work with all brewers, but I'm pretty sure they're referring to only theirs. And I'm sure the necks are designed specifically for that. Let's go on ahead and pull out. And there are our grounds. Drop the puppies in. So that is ready. So this is how our grounds will look inside a bottom. Now obviously our bottom neck might be a little wider versus a Chemex, but we're gonna go on ahead and give this a shot. So let's move over. All right, one of the reasons I want to try it this way is because I know Chemex filters are good. They're very hard to get a hold of. Uh, there is like a waiting list on Amazon if you guys try to purchase these and get a hold of these Chemex filters. They are uh, few and far between, just like that grinder I posted about. So let's go ahead and start with a nice and super slow pour. I use very little water. Just because we want to make sure we don't bust our filter here or have our ground sinks. Like I said, we are testing this with our Power Llama coffee. Hoping for the best here. And these filters overall do look stronger. They feel stronger in the fingers, fingertip wise, over what I have dealt with when it comes to your basic store-bought coffee filters. So far this is holding. So let me reposition so you can check it out. As you can all see, we are holding our grounds are holding up quite well. And we will continue our slow pour here. Actually, we're gonna let that seep a little and then we'll go back to it. So, all right, I'm gonna cut here and we will get to the end process or how it turned out. All right, so our coffee is finally done. Now it has taken me a good minute to get it to this stage, and that is due to the bottom, or not the bottom, yeah, well, part of the bottom. The bottom craft here, our container, does not have a slit or any type of breatheway for our Chemex filter to get air from. So it did create a vacuum to where we had coffee pouring in here, uh, all the heat and compression from the grounds up top so we were getting some bubbling but it was like hiccup bubbles of air um, so to help speed the process up a little bit right here at the end i was able to lift the grounds a little bit wedge a spoon under there to help create an air channel for it to get some air down there but it did take much longer for everything to filter through all the coffee to filter through so our extraction process took longer but i'm sure we are yielding a better cup of coffee much better cup, so it does take longer, but maybe that I can change that with switching to an actual Chemex craft. So now to pull our filter here without losing grounds, which we seem to be able to do, no problem. So yes, these Chemex filters are definitely made better. And just removing our spoon, you all can probably hear the dripping. So I'm gonna move this out of frame. And since our filters are disposable or compostable, I'm gonna put that in my compost container. And we'll let that sit. And there is our eight cup of pour over black rifle coffee. 